after looking at Hive 30 last week during the inspection, it seemed like we had quite a large number of bees. And uh, taking a look at them here, it looks like they are pretty stuffed. So let's go ahead and crack this open, see how much space they have, and maybe we're gonna give them another box. Since we are in a bit of a dearth, we might even put some, a uh, little bit of sugar water in there as well, see if they wanna build out these frames. Well, taking off the telescoping lid and the inner cover, looks like there are quite a few frames of these here in this second box. So that is another great example of this hive that we made from a swarm early in the spring. It is now two box in, hive number 30, two box in, and we're going to add a third box here after doing a quick inspection. Those bees are just lovely to look at. Thus far, the only thing that I have uncovered in this top box has been capped honey, nectar, and pollen. As you can see there, it's the queen. So she has moved up to this top box looking for places to lay. I think that means I should probably checkerboard this box with the empty one that I'm putting in place just so that it will encourage uh, them to fill out both boxes and to give her plenty of place to lay. Yeah, see, she's desperately looking, looking for spots on a frame full of honey. So let's be careful with her as we put her back down in. All right, here I have a brand new box that I have checkerboarded with frames from the top box of Hive 30. I've now put several of the frames that the bees are working on into this box. I've interspaced them with frames that have foundation, and now these bees should be ready to expand into this box. All right, there is a third box added on top of Hive 30. You can tell they've been a little disrupted by that, but you can also tell by looking at that landing board that there are an enormous number of bees in here. Um, Dr. Lynn told me that she saw them bearding a day or two ago. So getting them that extra space, I think is exactly the right thing. Absolutely gorgeous to see a hive that started from a swarm I was worried about even making it through the night, has gone through the entire season and is looking marvelously here at the height of summer.